Hi, in this video, we will learn about Fortinet's cloud-based SaaS endpoint management service called FortiClient Cloud. We will take a look at the basic setup and configuration steps that you can follow as a new user of FortiClient Cloud. After you have registered both a FortiClient Cloud subscription as well as a FortiClient license contract to your FortiCloud account, you can access FortiClient Cloud with the following URL. After logging in with your FortiCloud credentials, we can now see the dashboard with our account and license details. As the primary admin, we can add secondary admins from our FortiCloud account. To do this, let's log in to the Fortinet service and support site with our FortiCloud credentials. Click on My Account in the top right corner and select Manage User. Here, we can add our additional admin's username and other user information, as well as the permissions that we want to apply. If the new user does not have a FortiCloud account, they must create one. After clicking on Save, a user that is added on this page becomes visible in the FortiClient Cloud GUI in the Administrator section and they can log in to FortiClient Cloud with their FortiCloud account. Now let's create a local endpoint group, which can be used to group endpoints for provisioning. Go to Endpoints and select Work Groups. Then right-click on All Groups to select Create Group. Give the group a name and click Confirm to create a new endpoint group. Next, let's see how to create an endpoint profile. Let's go to Endpoint Profile and select Manage Profiles. We can see a default profile which can be edited. Or we can create a new one by clicking Add. Let's give the profile a name and then let's enable Antivirus Protection under the Malware tab. And let's also enable the web filter feature and we can customize its settings. Upon clicking Save, we have our new profile in the Manage Profiles page. Now let's create an endpoint policy to provision the endpoint profile and installer, which we will create in the next step. Go to the Endpoint Policy and Components tab and select Manage Policies. On the policy page, Fill out an endpoint policy name, and then select the device or user group to apply the policy to. In the user field, you can optionally select desired domain users to apply the policy to. For profile, we can include an endpoint profile in the policy. And the next off-fabric option lets us choose a profile to apply when an endpoint is off-fabric. You can also configure on-fabric detection rules for endpoints. EMS uses the rules to determine if the endpoint is on or off-fabric. Ensure that the Enable Policy toggle is on and click Save. Next, we will see how to create a new FortiClient installer. On the Deployment and Installers tab, select FortiClient Installer and then click Add. We get an Add Deployment Package window to customize our installer. On the first tab, we will set up the installer type, release, and patch. In the second tab, we will set an installer name and its expiration date. On the next tab, we can set up the basic and additional security features. And on the final tab, we can set up advanced features, enable the installer ID, as well as the endpoint profile feature, which will let you select your desired endpoint profile. On clicking Finish, our new installer is created, which has its own invitation code. This code can be sent to endpoints to connect their FortiClient to FortiClient Cloud. You can also download the installer from here and deploy it through your Windows deployment server. Let's go to an endpoint's FortiClient 
and connect with our 40 clients invitation code. We can see that we have successfully connected to our 40 client cloud and this endpoint can now be seen on the endpoints tab. With this, we come to an end of our video where we have learned about 40 client clouds, basic configurations for a new user. Thank you for watching. For more technical videos, please visit video.fortinet.com.